So in today's video, I'm going to try to do my best to answer one of the most popular questions I've been getting after users updating to iOS 14.5 and or 14.5.1. In this video, we're going to talk about the grayed out toggle for app transparency. As you may or may not know, with iOS 14.5, Apple released the app tracking feature, or this feature was already here, but Apple is now fully enforcing it, and developers now have to ask you, if you would like to be tracked or not for advertising purposes. But some users, as I mentioned, may see this toggle grayed out. I did some digging around, found some information that I wanted to share with you guys because Apple had directly reply to this situation here where some users can't choose if they can be tracked or not for the advertising purposes. Of course, many users want to have this feature so that they have the ability to choose if they want to or not. Now, one of the most recent YouTube community posts that I posted here, this is one of the most popular questions. After updating to iOS 14.5 or 14.5.1, app tracking toggle is still grayed out. So let's get right to this. The number one reason Apple says you could see this feature grayed out on your device is if you're under 18 or you have a child account. So if you're a minor, you will most likely see this on your iOS device. Again, if you're using an Apple ID under 18 years of age, this will most likely happen because you can't be targeted for advertising purposes automatically. So it will be grayed out. You have nothing to really worry about. The number two reason Apple says this could happen is if you work for a company that provides you with an iPhone. So if you work for an airline or an educational institution, whatever it may be, if it isn't your personal device and it is managed by a company, as I mentioned, then this will most likely be grayed out as well because they can manage if the devices do get targeted or not based on profiles installed on the host device so for those two reasons is one of the main reasons some may be seeing this grayed out app tracking feature on their devices now the third reason that apple says this could be happening is if you created an apple id three days prior to the release of ios 14.5 i'm not sure why they say that or if that changes over time after three days but Apple did state that if you did create an Apple ID three days prior to the release of iOS 14.5 or you bought a brand new device, created a new account after it was released, you could see this toggle grayed out. I'm thinking after a while, you will be able to turn it back on. There's also some forms and some users that are saying that their app tracking feature is grayed out based on region and that can also be a reason so depending on your region depending on your local government rules uh, this could also be impacting this app tracking feature and the fourth one I want to mention or the fifth one I want to mention here is for AT&T customers in the United States there's also an option here under privacy if we head on over to the bottom of the screen and we go right here to Apple advertising right here personalized ads if this feature is turned off Go ahead and turn it on for those who are AT&T customers here in the United States. I've read in many forums that this could be the case. This feature is turned off when they turn it back on. Then they do have the ability to go to tracking and enable this feature and go ahead and choose that they would like to be tracked or not. So three answers that Apple has given and then two that I found in forums and just doing some research and digging around. But again, this has been a very controversial uh, feature for iOS, but many users do love it. They like that Apple gives you the ability and the power to choose if you'd like to be tracked or not. So let me know in the comments down below, are you falling into any of these categories? Is your toggle still grayed out? Do you not fall into any of these categories and your toggle is still grayed out? I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.